So looking at the supraspinatus, we can see it here. I want to come posture enough to be able to see it nicely. And they can see it really well there. And you can see it actually looks like this guy even has like possibly a partial tear of his cuff. You can see it's not looking great there. So there's different things we can do. So if you're going to do like an injection for subacromial space, this would be the ideal spot doing it right here. And then coming into the area, you can see going right under that kind of double white line right there. We can kind of optimize our image there. So there we're in the subacromial space right now. Boom. So we would inject that spot. So if you want to inject, you can see it kind of going in. There's a little bit of fluid going in that area, but you can see it's migrating all the way right from kind of medial to lateral. So we know we're in the subacromial space. If we were doing like a PRP injection and we were more concerned about making sure that we had actual injection into the tendon, we can reorient and actually go into the tendon, which you can't do with cortisone. And that's not going to be appropriate for cortisone, but going into the actual tendon itself, let me get a better image here. And there you can see it. Since I've changed the angle, I'll change my angle here and kind of come in a little bit more angled there. So you can see it, I'm right in the shot and I'm right there into that partial tear. Now you can see the needle going to that partial tear seeing it right in that area there. So you can get more into that spot in the intraarticular portion. So I'm actually into the actual tendon tear now. Let me get you a better image. There's our needle there. And you can see I'm right into that area of the tear there. So if you're doing an injection and I'll do a little, little puff of fluid in that, I don't want to do too much, but you can see I'm actually in the joint. You can see it flowing into the joint there. This is not an ideal area to do intraarticular injections, but it is possible to do. It's just a little more chance you're going to hit the cartilage. And I would guess right now that my needle is probably in the articular cartilage intraarticularly currently right now, because I can see the needle head in that direction. And that's why typically when we're doing a PRP, we want to get actual to the insertion site right there. So that would be the better spot for a shot right there. So subacromial there intraarticular or into, into a, the rotator cuff, supersonic tendon right there. And that's how we do those shots.